Okay, so we're in here in the uh, mechanical room. Today we're going to install a three-way switch into this number three charge controller right here. Um, that way I can tell it to be um, one side to go to the solar panels in the summer and in the winter we're going to hook up our water wheel to it so I can have it switch over to water wheel. Um, so uh, let's get started on it. So we're going to hook up that water wheel down in the creek to the solar system on the house which is way up here. It's about 350, 360 feet into the garage from the water wheel. So anyway, we're going to tie into the solar system. First off, I'm going to, means I'm working on panel 3 in there, charge controller 3. I'm going to get into this uh, um, combiner box and shut off the breaker, shut off all the power down below. Alrighty, so we've added in our three-way switch down here. So we come, this side of this is our, this is off right now, we're off. Um, this is the incoming PV into the charge controller. Okay, so we're coming out, the negatives go into a negative bus bar. The hot is coming down to the output of this three-way switch. Okay, this one, the smaller one, is coming from the PV up on the roof. Um, it'll do... There's eight panels. No, there's six panels on that. Um, 550 watts each, so it's, it's more than big enough. This here is just what I had laying around. This is going up to a 100 amp breaker, DC breaker, which is going to the rectifier for the water wheel. And this wire here coming from the water wheel, which is 350 feet, this is a temporary... Um, I have 8 gauge wire to pull in the conduit. I just got to do a little digging with a traco, about 100 foot of digging before I can do it. So I ran this up for temporary. So it's going into the rectifier. We'll flip that up into on position. It's off right now. And um, so if I go up on the roof and turn the solar panels back on, we can test this. So I'm going to jump up there and turn those back on. Yeah, our panel's looking pretty good. A little dirty down there on that end. Just from those cedar trees there. Yeah, look pretty good. So then down there is our water wheel. We'll power that up after we uh, check the solar side to make sure it's working. Let's head back down to the garage. All right, we are back down. As you can see, we have no power on the um, from the solar yet. So if we switch this down to number one, the solar, we should, yep, it just did something. Oh, maybe it didn't. Let's turn the light back on. See if we get any power. I hear it ticking. Okay, yeah, it's cloudy out, drizzly. So we're getting 1.28 amps off of those six panels. If we put it over here to both, it's 1.27. And if we go up here to, or 1.28, if we go up here to that one, the number two down here on this, we have zero because we have not hooked up the water wheel. I'm going to go down and put the flume in the water wheel. So yeah, it's recycling, so it ain't got nothing. So yeah, I just cycled back to just power off of, basically getting power off of the other, because the battery is all tied in. So on this inverter, this is a um, 250 volt maximum input DC um, and 5200 watt max input. And then the output um, is 100 amp, which goes over to the bus bar and all the stuff for the for the batteries. Anyway, let's run down and turn on the uh, water wheel. So guys, free range chickens, they're great. There's hardly any bugs around here. But I tell you what there is, in that patio and on all that concrete around the house, chicken crap everywhere. Got to hose it down constantly. Pain in the butt. Not my chickens. Our chickens are in a coop. Anyway, heading down to the water wheel. Right now I have a um, PMG permanent magnet generator on the water wheel that is from Missouri Wind and Solar. I'm not impressed with it, but it's what's hooked up right now. So we'll power it up first. And then I also have one that I bought off Amazon. It's called a 12,000 white. And I think it actually performs better than this one. Anyway, we'll turn this one up first. 
our water wheel. Let's pop this bucket off of it. That's just on there to keep water out. I mean, it's waterproof, they say. But So, guys, every time that wheel turns one spin, this turns 80. So as we get this running, we can count how many rotations this wheel is doing. I use that seam right there as the time it hits the board, one side or the other. And I count one, two, three, four, you know, and decide how many rotations it is. Then we can do the multiplication. So let's power this up. Let's power this up. I just throw this, this pipe into the flume and it'll start going. I'm going to set you down right here. I'll just sit there for a second. Okay, so this flume, or this pipe, will hold, um, will pump, I think about 80 to 90 gallons a minute. Yeah, our wheels turn backwards. Keep going the right way. So now we're kicking. Let's go up to the house. Well, let's see how fast that's spinning first. So we'll count. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. So 12 times 80 is what our rotations are per minute. And then if you want to do all this per minute, let's head back up to the mechanical room. All right, we're back up to the house. Um, we're on solar here. We're getting five amps on the six panels and 9.4 on eight panels. So having those extra two panels makes a big difference for, um, cause all of these are getting about nine, six and they're all eight panels, but this one only has six cause I ran out of room on the roof. I have two more panels I can put in, which I should, cause five to almost eight and a half, that's three amps an hour. So anyway, we're here. So let's switch this up to the solar or the water wheel. And it says we have nothing. We have 54 volts right here coming from the three phase. So this is three phase coming from the water wheel. Um, it's going into this 100 amp breaker. It's off. Let's turn it on. We have 54 volts here. Let's switch this over. I don't think it, so right now it's just running off of, this is running off the power off the batteries. There's no input here at all. So that Missouri Wind and Solar PMG I bought isn't and it's produce it's running 960 rotations per minute, and they say that that'll put 54 volts out, which is what it's doing. But there is no amperage coming in. Let's put this over to a combo, which is in the solar and that actually might be something. These takes, I think, 75 amps to, to, or volts to run them. To click it over, and it just clicked over. So now it's running on basically using the solar amperage to power this, to turn it on. Um, but we're not getting anything more than what we had before. You know, with it just on by itself. So oh, if I switch this down to solar, let's see what it goes to. So it's on 470. Now it's just on solar. <laughs> yeah, it's producing a tenth of a watt, or a tenth of an amp. That's pitiful. <laughs> That's pitiful. If we switch that off, now that should be the same, 422, 4... It's just so... Can't actually, yeah, it went down. Didn't go up. So anyway, um, I think I'm going to go down and switch out, put the white... PMG on the water pump, water wheel now. Uh, I'll get back to you in a minute. All right, switched out the motor on the water wheel. Just put water back in. We're now running 
this white thing. It's a when I bought it on Amazon. It was just listed as a twelve thousand. It's from China. It took forever to get it. There again, it's still running about eighty rotations per one. I think. See how fast we're going here. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. So now we're running actually faster, we're running about 1200 RPMs. The load must be different on this one, didn't fog it down. Oh, I haven't turned it on up in the house yet. That's all right. All right, let's run up the house. Alrighty. Um, I already switched it all on. And as soon as I turned it on, the water wheel did slow back down to four seconds per rotation on the wheel, which puts us back at 960 RPMs on the on the motor and we're producing right now 0 0.4 0 0.38 0 0.54 off of the water wheel 0.38 so if i kill this that breaker's now off that should go to zero there's our zero let's turn it back on I noticed when I first turned it on, it was like one and a half when I first turned it on the first time because the wheel was going faster. It was producing more, but as soon as I turned it, the breaker on, it slowed way down. So right now it's only at 0 0.11, 0 0.12. Let's see if it builds up. We had a point, oh, now it's at one amp, point half an amp. So it's jumping out, it's going to balance out, I would think. So, I mean, over a day's time, I mean, that's like 12 amps that's going to produce maybe 10 amps. I don't know. So, my next move, I guess, let's put it on combo 0.29. So, that's running right now, it's running off the water wheel and the solar. Points. Pump down to just the solar. So anyway, I, my next move is going to be to get an old wash machine, pull it apart, rewire it. I'll make a video on that too, but I just want to show you guys the water wheel does have potential. You just got to find the right generator to hook up to it. And some people have been asking why don't I just put a car generator on it. Well, that's because the wire to get from 350 feet down there up to here would have to be pretty big. So we run three phase up to the house and tie it into a rectifier. All these rectifiers, I think, are about the same. I have three of them. They all produce about the same amount. So wiring's done. Next thing I'll do is dig a little ditch so I can pull in the, uh, the bigger wire. Uh, like I said, this is um, 12 gauge. From down there all the way up, I don't think I'm losing that much on, on you know that low of an amperage. I'm, I, I don't know, maybe I am. I don't know. I can't test it down there because I have nothing to. I don't want to unhook all this and take it down there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.